behind the scenes, Daphne said George is a mama's boy. One oh. time I called his house and his mother said he can't go out. My mom thinks Daphne is rude. But her blind date was 100% man. He took charge. He took me right to the hotel. I knew it was going to be a good night. After his date made him grow up quick. I just wanted to lick her up and down. <laughs> oh my God. What? Will they patch things up? Mama's little boy. Or have a change of heart? Plus, get the backstage scoop on this couple. What? change of heart. Our next guest, well, they met at a local watering hole. He was immediately attracted to this older woman, and she loved his boyish charm. But now, ten months later, this relationship feels more like mommy dearest. They're fighting every day. They're worried the relationship is in trouble. So let's get their story. Please welcome Daphne Nargazi and George Coelho. Welcome to the show. Now, Daphne, before I even get to the age issue, let's talk about the most current fight which just happened. Oh, he stood me up and lied. Oh! I did not Busted. stand her up. What no, did, no, wait, no, wait, no. Let her explain. What, what did he do? <laughs> he was supposed to come over and spend the whole day with me. He lied to me. He said he, said he was going to work. He didn't even go to work. Mm. Not true, not true. I said I came over that night. I spent the night. The next day, I broke out. That's it. You left. I left. I, I had to go. Now, Daphne, let's go to the age thing because he is five years younger to you, uh, than you. What's the biggest difference there? I think the fact that I'm older than him, I think he thinks I should support him. I pay for everything. I pay for that our dates. So I pay. I even pay for your gym. Does she pay for everything? Though you're going like, no, it's not really that true. No, she does it. Okay. <laughs> At least you can admit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does pay for everything. But like I said, she makes much more money than me. Right. For now. So, so I tell her the money that I do have. I will try to spend it on her. But until, you know, if we do work things out in the future, then Eventually, it'll be all good. Right. It'll be now, all now, good. Now, Daphne, Daphne, he says he makes some money. Where's that money going? His mother, each and every last cent. Big she has a man. Yeah, yeah, what, is that? Oh, what are you buying your mom? No, I'm not buying her anything. She just got separated, and, mm -hmm. she, and she's going through a lot of problems. So I do love my mom. I am a mama's boy. I have no problem with that. But I got to take care of my mom. Which okay, now it? that's understandable. Now, Daphne, you told us in our pre-interview here before you guys came on Change of Art that, that his mother also causes some other problems. So let's take a look. So you can you see I'm abused here. I'm uh, you're, abu you're abused. He's the abuse. Try sitting at home, waiting for him to come pick you up several occasions. And his mother's in No! 24 years old. One time, one time I called his house. He was supposed to be going out with me. And then his mother said, and then his aunt picked up the phone and told me, George is only 24. I said, oh, okay, thank you. George, what is it? You're 24, your mom doesn't let you go out? What's that about? She thinks, my mom thinks Daphne is rude, okay? Whoa. She calls me at 1, 2 in the morning. And the time that she did come over, she didn't even talk to my mom. So, so that she has a problem with it yeah, then. Yeah, she now, does. Daphne, don't you speak to his mom at all? Homie, I speak to her, you know? She Hi, doesn't, I mean, I speak no, to George. No. Right? You know? No, no. I, but when she did, talk no, about. But that time she did come over, she would even talk to her. I go, my mom's right there. Talk to her. Go, yeah, go. You don't want She's to like, no, rude. she didn't want to. She now, George, to. let's talk about the time that you do spend some time with Daphne. How, how does she treat you? She treats me like a little kid. You know? Like the little I mean, boy you are. Yeah. <laughs> she has two kids already. Right. And I just feel like the third kid. She buys me, like, I mean, she buys me stuff. But the shirts, I do not like that she buys me. And it, and. As far as schedule in my life, I mean, I gotta make sure for the whole week everything is, is like I gotta pass it to her. It's like, Daph, listen, uh, Monday I'm gonna do this, Tuesday I gotta do right, that. Right, laying it all out for you. Now wait, George, while we're on the subject of kids, any any other problems in that department? Uh, yeah. As far as the, when it comes to sex, yeah, whew, the the kids just get in the way during sex. I mean, oh my god! I cannot have sex in the afternoon. You if gotta I, be if kidding I'm horny, me. I gotta take like a pink slip and come back in the in the nighttime or something. <laughs> You know, you're not, you're not even there. I mean, how does that happen in <laughs> well, the afternoon, that, really? That is so untrue. When I am yeah. there and I'm horny, she's not there. You know, we're well, both that, horny. We're both very, very sexual people. Mm. We, you know, that's good. Well, now, George, let me ask you this because while we're on the subject of sex, older women a lot of times are a little more confident. Uh, what about Daphne? Is she a little more forward? <laughs> very much forward. She yeah. grabs guys' asses in front of me. Oh, other guys. Other guys' asses. Wait, their butts look much better. I couldn't help it. <laughs> now, Daphne, with all these problems, what is it that actually keeps you two together? Well, even though George and I fight a lot, we see things together like the same way, mm -hmm. you know? And we laugh at the same things. 
And I think he's my soulmate. Very important. And George, what, what makes Daphne very nice? And George, what makes Daphne your shining star? Well, like I said, I have a lot of problems at home and this and that. And for her to be understanding and to stick with me towards it, and that's good. It makes me feel good. And she's always said she's going to be there for me no matter what. Very that's good. But you're both here. And Daphne, what is it you're hoping the show is actually going to do for you? Well, I'm hoping that by going out with people closer to our age, that we'll see what a night out without fighting would be like. So something a little bit different than what you've been experiencing uh, lately. All right, now George said he wanted to lick his date all over. Find out why when we come back. So those long, sexy legs, mm -hmm. and she looked like a lollipop. I just wanted to lick her up and down. <laughs> And George, now after 10 months of dating, George says he's sick of dating someone who treats him like a kid. So we set him up with someone who says she knows how to make him feel like a man. Please welcome Brandy Michelle. Now, George, what was one of the first things that you learned about Brandy before you guys actually met? She has absolutely no sense of direction whatsoever. At all. She gave me direction on how to get to her house. Right. It takes me about 25 minutes to get there. It took me three hours to get to her house. So three hours no later. No sense of direction Just whatsoever. Just because you got really bad directions. Oh, Okay, so bad. it took you that long. Was she at least worth it, though? Oh, definitely, definitely yeah. worth it. There you she go. told me she was a model, and when I saw her, I saw those long, <laughs> sexy legs. Oh, and she looked like a lollipop. I just wanted to lick her up and down. Pop, huh? Oh yeah, big oh, time. very nice. Well, he called you a lollipop. What would you call him? <laughs> I called him a yogurt-covered peanut. He is <laughs> way much lighter and way much shorter than what I'm used to. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> so, so Brandy, was was there something though that really impressed you about George? Well, yes. Um, we decided to play handball. Um, he suggested that we play that since I love it to get our own juices flowing. Yeah. And um, he plays so well that um, I stopped caring about his height. That's very nice. Okay. And George, what about your juices? What got them pumping about Brandy? Oh, um, when well, she had this tank top on <laughs> yeah. and she just folded it up and she had this hard stomach. Oh, Where? my Where's eyes were just like. Where's Where's my stomach at? Look at this. Where? Yeah, okay. Now, Brandy, what about you? Were, you? were you working on some angles so that you could see his body and check it out? Well, yes. Yeah, so I told him that um, he had to, he had to give, me, give me points that I had to win. And if um, <laughs> he, I won, then he would have to play the rest of the game naked. Oh. <laughs> so he spots you a lot of points and then can't hit the ball, right? Who won the game? Unfortunately, yeah. George beat me. Oh, he beat you anyway? <laughs> George! She's a good sport. She's a good sport. She was good at it. Mm -hmm. She was good. She would have if he lost anyway. Yeah. Oh. So, George, uh, how'd you make her feel better, though, that after you beat right. her? Right. After I beat her, I was like, I felt a little bad. So, I, you know, I decided to be a little bit romantic and take her to Central Park on a boat ride. <laughs> and what happened, though, oh. when we got there, the water was a little bit green, so it wasn't it wasn't what I planned. And right. she got a little bit nervous. Uh, yeah, a little stagnant yeah, green yeah. ugly she water. Wasn't, she wasn't feeling it too much, but yeah. you know it was good. All right, and now let's say uh, how did she handle that situation compared to like with, if Daphne was in the same place? That was the one one thing that was good about it. She just pretty much laughed it off. You know, she was laughing, looking at the water, and we just pretty much look look at it. It's all green. Right, and, but Daphne. But as far as that, she I mean. She won't even let me make plans, first of all. And if, it, if I do make a plan, it's got to be expensive. I got to oh. take it to the best That's in the town. That's the thing, I'm for oh. it. I'm going to pay for it. But when yeah. I do, but when <laughs> I do take her out, she, she ain't right. even have it. It's got to be the best in town or she doesn't even want nothing mm -hmm. to do with it. Now, Daphne, describe a typical night that he might plan for you. Oh, at home watching wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> That's Show really expensive, up. George, you know, hitting there, the, watching the WWF. Yeah, but, I mean, no, he's first is WCW. Oh, WCW. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, but it's, it's wrestling. It's just for fun. I come home from work. I'm tired. I, understand. I like to watch. Now, George, earlier you said that she was a uh, model. Did you get to see some of that in action? Oh, yeah. She, I mean, I had a camera on me, and she's wearing these tight little shorts, and I was just like, okay, let's take some pictures. Right, and actually, here, here's the pictures that you took, so let's take a look at those and see if it's as sexy as you say. There you go. Nice. <laughs> There, they're nice posing, huh? There's another one. <laughs> okay. That 
looks really cute. <laughs> no, that looks cute. That's what I'm telling you. See, she has a nice little sense of humor. Now, George, obviously you admired her. You're having a good it's time. A Any thoughts, like, in the future w w about her? Yeah, actually, I did. I was just curious a little bit, so I took it to a uh, fortune teller. To uh -huh. see what took her it to a fortune teller? Yeah, to see what... We did that before, too. Yeah, but this time, this time I wanted to see, because we had a little bit more in common. We didn't fight. So I was around the window. I was like, right, let's take it to a fortune teller, see what happens. Yeah. Right? Now, yeah. Brandy, tell me what the fortune teller had to say for you guys. Well, she told us that I was aggressive and that um, the person I'm seeing now is very understanding and that we're compatible. Ooh. And she's talking about George, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Daphne, if you were telling fortunes about Brandy, what would you tell? Well, you better get ready to go to the poor house, honey. Because you got to pay for everything. <laughs> Fortune, huh? Whatever. <laughs> and George, what do you think? Was the fortune teller pretty accurate? Yeah, very accurate. I mean, she told us we were close in age and uh, that she didn't baby me, you know, and, and, and she laughed about things just like me. So that's, that's what I love felt you. Good. That's why I baby you. Oh. So obviously a whole different vibe there. Yeah. <laughs> now, George, what about Brandy? Did she offer up an opinion about your relationship with Daphne? Yeah, she, she, she actually says she was happy we were fighting because, or else we never would have met. <laughs> oh, well, there's an interesting point, wow. I guess, right? You would have never ended up on the yeah, show. so it was good. Now, George, uh, Brandy said she's kind of aggressive. Did you get to see that side of her? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah. Towards the end of the night, uh, she pulled me close mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. she, she felt my arms and gave me a nice tight <laughs> hug and a kiss at the end of the night, so it was nice. Very yeah. nice. So you felt that and you liked that, yeah. Okay, she was coming on pretty strong there. Up next though, we're gonna meet Daphne's date, so stay tuned. And we were dancing, you know, chest to chest. It was getting a little heated there because yeah. it was a small, tight space. Now all of a sudden I felt a little grab on my butt, so I knew it was gonna be a good night after that. And Daphne, now Daphne says that she and George fight every day. And one of the reasons, he never comes over. Well, guess what? Right after her date, George was knocking on her door. So let's meet the man who got George running. Please welcome Fred Morton. Talk to me about when you first talked to Fred on the phone. What'd you think? I thought he was boring. Boring? Oh. He sounded tired like he didn't even want to go out on a date. So very disinterested. And Fred, why were you acting like that? Were you not into it or? Well, she didn't tell me what she looked like, so I thought she might have been a dog or something. Oh, come on. You know better. <laughs> now, Fred, once you got to meet her, your worries all put to rest, right? Yeah, uh, actually it was put to rest. Uh, she had a nice uh, striped uh, outfit on. Yeah. And the first thing I noticed was that nice round butt she had back there. <laughs> You know, yeah. you know how that goes. Yeah, it's, it's, right, and Daphne, still my butt. Still my butt, though. Not yours, buddy. Oh, well, no. we don't know yet, George. Uh, Hang on. Uh, Daphne, when you first met Fred, what was it that first caught your eye? The first thing that caught my eyes was probably his hair. It was right there. Unlike George's hair, greasy all over the place. <laughs> he had this nice, big, white smile. Uh-huh. Anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, Look at that. Uh, so, Daphne, uh, you're saying teeth are important? Yeah. Yeah, they're important. Sometimes I don't even want to kiss George. I see. Because really? his teeth are just there. Yeah. And that bothers yeah. you a little bit. Well, maybe, I mean, she wants to talk about hair. <laughs> At least I don't have to buy my hair at the Korean store down the block. This is all natural. Just like your date, it's all good. Yeah, but she's still looking. <laughs> she's still looking. <laughs> All right, now, Fred, uh, we heard George saying that Daphne, like, schedules his entire life. Did she try to do that when you guys hooked up for the date? Well, she suggested laser tag, and um, I had no problem with it, though, Chris. Uh, Ashley gave me a good chance to look at her body there a little better. Oh, yeah, she's diving. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been running yeah. around and stuff like that. Good. Tell now, Daphne, you. obviously you were wanting to see some of his competitive side. Uh, how is it when he, com you know, if you have to compare him to George when it comes to winning? He lost. Oh, you did? You yeah. took him down? Yeah, he lost, but he was having fun. He didn't care. Unlike George, I probably cried if he lost. That's oh my right. God, That's right. Right. You know, right. it doesn't matter have fun. That's because I'm a winner, winner. <laughs> I don't like to lose. He's very That's competitive. Right. Now, Daphne, obviously you saw Fred's competitive side too. Did you get a chance though to see his real sensitive side? Yeah, I did. During dinner, you know, he talked to me about his family, you know, certain issues. He was very personal. I was nice. Really? Was this White Castle? Mm-hmm. I know that's where you would take me. Oh, I had to pay for that too. Now, you said, uh, Daphne, you like when Fred talked about his problems. Now, well, what about when George is talking to you about things? George, George always talking about his problem. I feel like he's a psychiatrist or something. He wants me to solve everything. Oh, I don't, whatever. Please, all I ask her is to listen. That's it. She don't want to listen, then fine. It's no problem. I have no problem. Right? Now, Fred, we're on family issues. What about George's name? When you're with Daphne, did he come up? Unfortunately, he came up, yeah. And uh, 
he lived at, she said she li he lived at home with his mother. And I'm like, he's 24 years old, right? She said, yeah. So I couldn't understand. I asked her, I was like, why would you want to be with someone you had to babysit all the time? <laughs> Because there's something called family values. I don't know if you ever heard about it. You know, you gotta take care of your mom first, and once you're done, then you can go on. George has got his priorities, right. Now, Daphne, let me ask you this, because this is the first time in 10 months that you've been out with an older guy. What, you know, what, what did you sense the big differences were? Well, I felt like I was with a man, not a boy. Mm -hmm. He lives by himself. He ha does help his family out, but, you know, he puts things into perspective, mm -hmm. whatever. And I felt like a woman again. But he's also very independent. You like that. Now, you guys were playing laser tag. Did Fred ever take charge, though? Yeah, he took charge. Uh -huh. He took me right to the hotel, changed my clothes. Oh! <laughs> changed my clothes. That's how you yeah. <laughs> Now, Fred, we heard uh, George complaining about Daphne always grabbing other guys' butts. Did you see any of that happening? Uh, well, we went, we went to the nightclub. We were dancing, you know, chest to chest. It was getting a little heated there because yeah. it was a small, tight space. And uh, all of a sudden, I felt a little grab on my butt. So I knew it was going to be a good night after that. <laughs> So it was your butt she was grabbing, and Daphne, was he reciprocating? Yes, he had his hand all over my butt. <laughs> Feeling good there. Yeah, so things are getting a little heated, obviously. Now, Daphne, you complained earlier that you always had to play for George, everything you guys do, so I gotta ask how the date went with Fred. Did he pay, or did you pay? Oh, Fred paid for everything. Yeah! But he was watching his money. But, but he was he was a little... He was watching his money like a hawk. Really? You know, it kind of reminds me why I'm so annoyed with Joy. <laughs> oh. George. So, yeah. well, you don't even know anything. Look at that. Yeah, a little on the tight side, though. <laughs> Cotton the cash as he's yeah. spending it. Mm -hmm. Now, Daphne, anything else that uh, maybe reminded you of George when you were with Fred? Well, the Spanish music came on, and I kind of wanted to dance to Spanish music, mm. and he didn't. And that made me miss George a little bit. Ah, uh, where George liked to salsa or do a shake his bonbon well, thing. Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> Spanish, okay. Yeah, but I can't. Now, so, Fred, did you have any idea that she had some complaints about the date? Uh, no, actually, she wanted to see me again. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. See, she wanted to see you leave, you mean? Not no, see you no, leave. no. I heard him say again. How do you feel about that? No, that's not going to happen. You're, I doubt it. Don't think so, nah, huh? No, nah, I don't think so. She's not high type. Mm -hmm. so, she can do better. Uh huh. Now, Daphne, what about at the end of the night? How did Fred make you, uh, how did Fred make you feel like um, a woman? He gave me a nice, big, juicy hug and a kiss. <gasps> to stay out a little longer, but I was feeling kind of sick, mm -hmm. you know, so we took a rain check, so. Yeah. So just in case that just second case. date does pop up. Just in case. Okay, well, coming up, will Daphne and George be able to bridge their age gap? Final decisions are next, so stay tuned for that. They wanted to experience a date with someone similar in age and financial status. Now that they've done that, let's see exactly what they've decided. So, Daphne, we're going to start with you and get your decision first. You guys have been together for 10 months, but there's been a lot of arguing. We know that. We sent you out with Fred. You said he was more of a man. Certainly, he treated you like a woman, and he treated you instead of you having to pick up the tab like you have with, with George all along. What's your decision? Well, I had a really nice time with Fred. Uh -oh. And, um... George, well, George needs to grow up a little bit more. And maybe we can be together another time, but not now. So you say? Change of heart. Change of heart. Change of heart. And Fred, is that good for you? Yeah, it's great for me. Fred's all right with that. So, George, Daphne wants to have a change of heart, obviously. We sent you out with Brandy. You said you loved her looks. You loved the fact that she was into sports. Everything went really well. You had a great time. What's your decision? Well... Like I said, uh, she, me and her are together for a long time, but it just keeps, keeps on seeing we keep on fighting over the same things. And the age difference is a little bit, uh, a little bit of a problem. I have fun with her a lot. And it uh, looks like... Yeah! Change of heart! All right, change of heart as well for George. Now, Brandy, you had a change of heart. Does that work for you? It works, but on a friendship level. <laughs> connection just kind of like let's be buds yes he's cool all right george sorry things didn't work out that way i'm sure there's somebody else out there that's better suited no for you all right that is our show for today thanks to brandy and george and good luck to daphne and fred we'll see you guys next time on change of heart after our show we found out the real scoop on why brandy and george didn't end up together i'm like towering over him i don't like that i got a little bit of a high complex meanwhile daphne knew what she'd miss most about george he's really good in bed and you know, the sex is always pretty good. But no worries, Daphne. George has a solution. She'll be a booty call and I'll yeah, be her so booty call. We hope it works out. <laughs>